Title, Subdrama Rages on as Billionaire's Stepson Keeps His Blink-182 Concert Dates. TLDR. As a rescue mission for the missing Titanic exploratory sub unfolds, Hamish Harding's stepson, Brian Sass, keeps his Blink-182 concert plans. While the sea whispers secrets of the Titanic's doom, somewhere in a packed concert venue, the rhythm of pop-punk band Blink-182 beats in a peculiar context. The stepson of missing billionaire explorer, Hamish Harding, has found himself under public scrutiny for enjoying his favorite tunes while his stepdad remains at sea's mercy. Brian Sass, a music enthusiast and Harding's stepson, recently posted about his stepfather's precarious situation on Facebook. Yet, he was seen headbanging to Blink-182's chart toppers. A question that automatically poses itself is, should life pause during a crisis, or is it okay to strum along? Hamish Harding is among the five onboard Ocean Gate Expedition's Titan, a carbon fiber submersible. This robust vessel was aimed at plunging into the depths of the sea, exploring the long-submerged Titanic wreckage. But instead of unearthing history, it seems they have become a part of it. Their expedition team is currently missing, and the clock is ticking for their safe return. Meanwhile, in this digital age, every click, every post becomes a statement. Brian Sasser's decision to attend the concert and posting about his stepfather's disappearance online has stirred a wave of public sentiment. Did he ignore the gravity of the situation, or is he merely embracing the harsh reality that life goes on, even amidst chaos? Public responses are varied, from sympathy for his situation to accusations of insensitivity. At a glance, one could easily judge Brian for his seemingly carefree actions. Yet, could this not also be seen as a testament to his resilience, a statement of optimism in a dire situation? Should he be vilified for seeking solace in music during his personal crisis? Beneath the surface, this story unravels deeper societal questions. It stirs up a whirlpool of sentiments about empathy, expectations, and even the peculiar role of social media in shaping our reactions to a crisis. After all, in a time of calamity, what's the correct behavior? And who gets to decide? Before we cast stones, remember that reactions to crisis are as diverse as the human experience itself. Perhaps Brian's case merely illustrates that life often marches to its own beat, even when confronted with unexpected and grim melodies. The world watches as this titanic mystery unravels both under the sea and under the spotlight of public opinion. Is the intense scrutiny on Brian's actions justified? Or are we mistaking resilience for indifference? And if the tables were turned, what song would you be listening to?